bomb intro bomb intro <laughs> hi guys welcome back to my channel 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 all right we are starting off with a package from luglo essence they are opening their branch on the 13th of december and they sent me an invite in this form that's why you saw that bomb intro at the beginning of this video you can see my name there they're peculiar yeah so they sent me this beautiful package to invite me for their opening on the 13th of December and this is what's in the box. This beautiful, lovely, scrumptious pillow, this wonderful, beautiful, amazing scented candle. Guys, this, this candle smells amazing, I'm telling you. So um, if you don't know about Luglo Essence, I'm going to be talking about them in the video as we go on so they are a new company that deals on makeup and gilly they also deal on henna and uh, massages body treatments manicure and pedicure oh they sent me chocolate i ate it all yeah i ate it all i love i love i love this packaging and they sent me a box of print is this a box or a cylinder they sent me Pringles, okay? And if it's really amazing that they put all this thought into this invite. And you know me, I'm going to eat from these Pringles and whatnot. Okay, like I was saying about Luglo Essence, they are brand new and they're dealing everything, body treatments, spa treatments, money and pedi, massage and all that henna makeup and gilly a lot a lot a lot of things so this pamphlet was inside the package to show you what they really do and also their contact information they do aromatherapy deep tissue massage facials body polish a lot of things and amongst the things i love are these beautiful gold rose petals <laughs> I'm going to keep them, use it to do some, you know, props later. Pew. So thank you so much, Lugo Essence, for this beautiful invite. And um, I'm sure going to be there and I'll do a vlog about it for you guys. You know, I'm all about doing that for my people. Okay. Thank you so much for sending this. This is not a collaboration video. I just wanted to show you guys the invite. That's it. That's That's just it. Okay, there's, there's nothing nothing attached to this. <laughs> All right, so we are going to go over to the video right now. And I'm starting off by using my Always on the Glow from TM Essentials. I know every time I want to do makeup, you guys are going to be like, eh, eh, Always on the Glow, she's using that every time. Well, it's a good product and I like it. Thank you. Next product i'm going to be using is from melanie mills and sandra deluxe a collaboration and this this is one of the glue products that dries down mud and if you're an oily skin person you will know that this means a lot to our community okay now i'm mixing the zikel foundation the primat foundation and maybelline super stay foundation guys you will not know the full potential of your products until you mix it with another one and it comes out seamless i'm telling you this was so beautiful so beautiful i almost cried god i love this foundations mixed together guys oh my gosh it's like i'm saying oh my gosh she loves seriously so um I think I should use this opportunity to talk about the Glow Essence. Guys, like I said earlier, they do a lot of massage services, beauty services, body treatments, and other services like beauty consultancy, beauty products, smoothies and juices. Yes, they do smoothies too. Organic skin products and hands-on training. Guys, <clears throat> Don't worry, I will leave everything in the description box below so that you guys can see what's up. Now I'm mixing my LA Girl Pro Matte Concealer and my Wet n Wild Foundation. <clears throat> this video is about mixing. <laughs> hey, gosh. 
guys, guys, guys. I oh god, this 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 mixture came out so so well. You guys are gonna see it how I blended it and it came out well. It came out cute. It came out so fine, but. There may be a level in your life where you can just go out like this without blending it. I am not the one that said you should do it too. She be you know. <laughs> well, since we're not going out like this, let us blend this product in. Yes, thank you. All right. God, I make the funniest faces when I'm <laughs> when, <laughs> when I'm blending my products. I make the funniest faces. Mm -hmm. Moving on, don't forget to always go back with your foundation brush to blend your concealer and your foundation together because if you don't do it, it's not a good look at all. I, Jesus Christ. When I started makeup, I used to just apply my setting powder like that. Guys, it's not a good look. Please blend everything. Blend your ancestors on your face. Please. Okay? Don't go outside this. Now, the next thing we are going to be doing is setting our face after we have blended everything together and i usually say this in most of my makeup tutorial videos that i don't have a single setting powder i have a mixture of setting powders that i put into um, a container that said as my primary setting powder. I don't really have one specific one that's why i don't usually give the name of my setting powder if I buy a palette and it has a light color or several palettes and it has light colors, I just mix them all up together. Ah, where's that noise from? I mix them all up together just to form one universal setting powder. I don't like dipping, 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 dipping different palettes to all. <laughs> well, that's just what I do. Mm-hmm. Yes, girl, you're looking good. Ah. So I'm just going to do my brows off camera and I'll be right back. Boom. That's it. That's it. Moving on. I'm using my Zikel Long Lasting Powder in Warm to set the rest of... Oh, gosh. To set the rest of my face. So one there. Uh, oh, my gosh. And to remove all the excess powder that was on my face due to me baking or setting my face and now i'm using my oil control compact palette from la pride and i'm using the last color on the first row and the dark shade there to contour my face guys did you see that palette two of the two of the first powders are scraped off that's why i'm telling you that i use them to mix to get my setting powder with other palettes that's what i'm telling you okay so i'm contouring my cheekbones my forehead and my Big has nose that my mother gave me. No, wait, it's my dad. Yeah, my dad gave me this nose. So I'm using my Milani powder in 10081 just to snatch my nose and my cheekbones cut them into two so that you don't see that they fat and they be so that's what we do shine 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 slice them into yeah that's what we do that's what we do moving on now i am in your face i just want to show you guys how i draw my eyeliner because that's the purpose of this video and i'm using this product that i stole from my friend Oh no, I didn't say, I didn't, she just, she gave it to me, girl, what am I using, oh god. <laughs> so, I'm not a pro in drawing liner, please, I never said I was. I'm just showing you guys how I draw mine. I don't usually put it on camera, I usually draw my eyeliner off camera, but today, for the purpose of this video, 
I was going to do it on camera, which I just did, okay? So step by step, drawing your liner. Maybe I'll do a detailed video about it, but I'm not a pro, so this is just what I do. So guys, I just want to point out one thing. If you've drawn your eyeliner and you don't think the edges are snatched straight, you can use your foundation or a concealer that is close to your skin tone to clean it up around the edges and make it look snatched, which is what I'm doing right now. Look at that. Just look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I'm happy with it in your face up close and personal look at that i try i beg i try i try all right moving on to blush i'm using my milani blush blush your ancestors hey we <laughs> you guys know me with my o2 highlighters and i'm using this soft pink highlighter which gives me chills i'm telling you this highlighter is bomb and they are very very cheap i bought them on jumia nigeria and they look so good okay now i'm going to line my waterline with my mabrook eyeliner pencil and this pencil is so pigmented Guys, believe me when I tell you things. It's so pigmented. Oh, my lord. Now, these are the two lashes I actually wanted to use, but ended up using two different ones because, <laughs> God. And they turned out to look very, very amazing. I did my lashes off camera because I'm always doing it on camera to save time. I did it off camera and now I'm coating my bottom lashes with my Zaron volumizing and netling mascara the mascara of ages okay it's time for the lips starting with a lip liner I'm using my MNN -N lip liner ah oh, my lord God of mercy, guys, this liner, this liner is so freaking soft and pigmented. I don't know where I'm going to find it to buy again. Oh God, this liner is so bomb and it's so good and it's so, it's so, oh my God. Oh. Now, I'm using my Huda Beauty lipstick in Cherry just to mix it up with that liner I applied earlier on. I'm also not a pro in this, but guys, I do do, I do do my lip well. I do do pigeon. I do and wear. Who no know face? Okay? I try. It looks bump and superb, but I felt like it needed something in the middle, sweet in the middle. So I applied my Beyond Beauty red lipstick in 07, just in the center of my lip. And I just added a little bit of highlighter on my Cupid's bow. And we're done. Come on. Boom. Yes. 
<laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Ah, look at this Sasaki. Look at this fine gear. God, look, just look at this. Oh, this simple gear. Just look at her. Guys, let me not hype myself, you know, because we'll not finish this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please, please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share this video. I love you. Like I always say in all my videos, I really do. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. If you recreate this look, let me know. Tag me and send me a message. I love you. And bye for now. Mwah!